today. From Bills Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. We'll see Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Taking on Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins. There's a look at Bill Stadium here in Orchard Park, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Miami Dolphins. And we are underway in Buffalo. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here come the Bills for their first goal on offense, led by their Pro Bowl quarterback. Now in his fourth season, it's Josh Allen. How about 54 touchdown passes in two full seasons at the University of Wyoming coming out of a junior college? I think he exceeded expectations, and he can move it around a little bit too. A much better athlete than people give him credit for. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Okay, there's a tone setter. First play from scrimmage. Stuff him in the backfield. You know what they were doing last night in the hotel room? <laughs> Visualizing exactly that. That's what they were thinking about. Making that play. Having leverage. Lower than the offensive lineman. Getting into the offensive backfield. Knocking someone down. Just what you said. Set the tone early for this game. Jeez, you are fired up. When I see a play like that, I can't help it. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. To the air, Allen. He'll buy some time right. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him. And he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 48-yard line. Allen off the play fake. Steps away. That really sets him back. A loss of six. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, 
you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. So the completion there, but Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow the completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. I like this young guy out of Ole Miss in his third year with Buffalo. Prototypical size for a tight end, 6'4", 254. I thought 2020 would be a big year for him. I do think it will happen in 2021. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. And Diggs has it. A gain of six there on first. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Now he's got it. Touchdown! Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said, better team at home should steamroll it. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7 0 game. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This is Jakeem Grant. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Dolphins ready to go to work on offense, led by their second-year quarterback out of Alabama. It's Tua Tungavailoa. Absolutely no one surprised that Dolphins did invest a high first-round pick, number five overall to draft Tua in 2020. I think that most people would say that his rookie year had plenty of positives, but it was sprinkled with a few negatives as well. Remember, he controversially took over for Ryan Fitzpatrick during the open week prior to week eight. Miami did go six and three in his starts from that time, but he had to get rescued a few times in games by Fitzmagic. And in his own words, he called his rookie year below average. I don't think the franchise believes that, but they're looking forward to seeing him improve. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On second and ten, Tua. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Tua finding Gesicki there for a Dolphin first. We saw this jumping jack make steady improvement his first three years in Miami. And he topped it off with 53 catches last year, career high. 
Now in his fourth season, I expect his numbers to continue to rise. Now the former Washington Husky, here's Miles Gaskin. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Gaskin again on second down. And some nifty running there. Ultimately, it doesn't get him a whole lot, but it does take him to the 45. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Now Tua on the bootleg here. Well, the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Off the edge, Mario Addison gets the sack. So on fourth down, the Dolphins' new punter for 2021, Michael Pilardi, on to punt. Isaiah McKenzie is back deep for the Bills. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. Back deep, Isaiah McKenzie. Thirty-nine yards on the punt, give him just one yard on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Second and ten. Allen, the throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. now looks to throw and he will not be able to hang on through the contact it's incomplete the coverage strong and now it's fourth down nice play there to force the incompletion and to me one thing's for sure when you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road you absolutely have to get takeaways you've got to get the ball from them yeah win that turnover battle gonna be key they didn't get one there but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that they might just get a few yeah once you get one Defensive teams think they come in bunches. On fourth down, on is the former Dolphin, Matt Hawk, to punt for Buffalo. Jakeem Grant back deep for Miami.
A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. So Miami coming out for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Two in the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at about the 32. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And it's a tremendous return as they finally get him at about the 10 yard line. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled at a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. And now on first down. They'll roll him out right. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and then it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. And they try to get him into space, coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Here's Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, it's Allen. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Isaiah McKenzie that time. Third down here. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Bills on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Now Allen. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. 
found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now a first and 10 at the 11. To throw, it's Allen. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Now Allen. And it's caught. Touchdown, Bills! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills will extend their lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Bass on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. A good drive that time as they go nine plays at all. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling OK. On first down, Tonga Vailoa. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. A gain of six there on first. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays... They're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Third and one, and Tua wants to throw it. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. 
two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. For the Buffalo offense and Devin Singletary heading back out there. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series so those surface tablets come into play. <laughs> Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. And he's in his 12th NFL season, and he's crafty, he's savvy. He's a guy who competes for the ball. 61 catches with New Orleans last year. Very happy to be in Buffalo. A big reason why? The young quarterback, Josh Allen. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Here's second and a yard. Here's Allen to throw it. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. And it's third and short. They always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. You gotta be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Allen on first and ten. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. They find some open field here. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Watch 50. Watch 50. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. I think this defense, Charles, realizing the deficit they're facing, they're going to have to step up and make more plays like we just saw there. Yeah, and those are the type of plays that can focus a defense because, as we know, they've had their trouble so far in this one. But they just proved to themselves that they can get to him, and I expect them to continue to bring that type of pressure in order to try and turn around their fortunes. Second and 14. Another try after the first down sack. Allen. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And that's incomplete. Clock stops 
Dolphins with 10 seconds left. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. Jakeem Grant now to return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. All that remains is to snap this once and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park where the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. It was a terrific first half from the mobile big man quarterback, Josh Allen. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. as we get going in this third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing now is Tug of Iloa. Into the secondary, past the 40. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So 
So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Tua sets up to pass it. And over the middle, this is Parker. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And we all remember when Devontae Parker was drafted, a first-round pick out of Louisville, really hit his stride in 2019 with 1,200 yards. Numbers dipped a bit last year, but he can be a real dependable target for Tua Tungavailoa. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki, but it's going to be second down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Nine yards, not quite enough. And they'll be left now with third and one. They'll run now with Gaskin. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. A nice substantial run there by Gaskin, who was the Dolphins' leading rusher in 2020. 584 total yards in just seven starts and got stronger as the season went on. Not bad for a seventh-round pick in 2019. He was drafted number 234 overall that season. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Off a of play action, tongue of Iloa. Throw left side complete, that's Carter. Give him seven on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Here's Gaskin. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Four yards the pick up, first down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. This is Gaskin on the carry. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. step on that last play because the drive has been strong but now it's second and 12. Now Tua. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's full. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Well that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who could not only get open but when they're covered can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Here's Tua, and this is going to be incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Field goal, a 
The kick by Sanders is good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to three. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive. Is it, they score here, especially a touchdown, it's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Yeah, still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? A good start to the drive. Here's that's caught out on the left side. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but Cole Beasley, he's in his 10th NFL season, and in 2020, his best year yet. 82 catches, close to 1,000 yards. Loves the freedom that this Bills offense affords him. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. On the give, this is Singletary. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Throwing now is Allen. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Sanders. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bills on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Give him six yards and they do convert on third. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground, far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. On play action, Allen. He lost the football, and this is picked up by the Dolphins, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Partner, that would look like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. So now here come the Dolphins. They trail by two scores in the fourth, and their defense did its job getting the fumble recovery. A time to see what this offense has left in the tank. Go, go, go. 
Following the fumble recovery, here's Tua. On the right side open is Gasicki. They showed a little athletic juke, but then the daylight quickly closed. Three yards the gain there, second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. To throw again on second down. Tua. Now a short one to Gesicki. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That catch good for five. It's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. The Dolphins on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and two. Here's Tonga Bailoa to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Parker. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 11 yards for number 11. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. It's complete to Fuller. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. Doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just, I, they move, and they know it affects the defense, because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary, and I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open, probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Good yardage on the completion there, and when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Eluding, and he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Tua Tungabailoa, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So they get the score still down, but bottom line is they kept themselves in the game. They did keep hope alive, Brandon. That's exactly what they did. Now they've got to deliver and finish things off. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And it's up through the goalposts. It's 17-10. A drive that time of six plays. And it was Tua Tungavailoa who called his own number and finished it off with the touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble, bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Bills going to take over again on offense. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. you got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. 
They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, and then, by the way, also the two-minute with Allen hit. He lost the football, and the Dolphins have got it. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we can make a play, we give our team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Two are going to throw. Quickly into the hands of Fuller. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who have had the receivers on lockdown. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Singletary to get the drive started. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Second and six. They go right back to Singletary. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Now Allen going to give it to Moss. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Matt Hawk now as he'll kick it away for the second time. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. So Tua and the Dolphins trailing 17-10, a minute 36 to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down.
tongue of Iloa. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. A.J. Epinesa in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket, but he couldn't get rid of the football and the end result, Charles, him on the ground. Yeah, he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line. When you're talking about three, four, five seconds, that's a reasonable amount of time to expect to a hit, and the ball is out, and the Bills have recovered. And they were hoping to get down there, get the score, and get this thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it, heartbreaking. They had an opportunity, had a chance, and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on, and that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yeah, the opportunity squashed. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And it was a bit of a strange game. They were held scoreless through the entire second half. But their first half output, that's enough to carry them to victory. And that's an odd game to watch, isn't it? Because when we saw the output in the first half, you think to yourself, OK, they've got something working here. They know what they're doing. They'll continue that along. But instead, it's goose eggs in the second half. Fortunately, enough of a cushion and enough defense to carry them home. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.